Hi guys, welcome to the Orchid Pergola. Welcome to Melissa Loves Orchids. So I am home from work, it's a Friday, and I'm really excited because I have an orchid festival that I'm gonna be taking all of you to. It is the, um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's it's at Wellington. So if you hear the word Wellington, you probably know. And yes, I'm holding this because I wanna not forget to show you. So anyways, I am, I am trying to figure out if I can go on Saturday or Sunday. I'm not exactly sure, but I am gonna go this weekend and I'm so excited. And I know coming up we have Fairchild. That's the, um, the, the big one. That's a really big one. That's a really nice one. I think that's the first one I ever went to. But that one is uh, March 8th and 9th. So the purpose of today, not only to tell you that, I also wanted to show you a couple of blooms that I couldn't show you before because they weren't ready. So this one I realized, come with me, I realized that I, it's the same one that I have over here mounted. Look at that, Heising Sunbeam. So here they are kind of next to each other. So this one is just opening and still has buds, but as the days go, it gets darker and then it turns into this beautiful orange. Look at how beautiful. I wish I would have had them all together and I would have mounted them together in a bigger piece, but I love it. Again, bag baby, bag baby. I really, 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 really love this color right now. This color is bomb right now. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so that is one that I wanted to show you and then I'm gonna turn it around to show you another one. So, um, this one was just starting to open when I did my video. Still has a bud left, but again, another bag baby that I had to, I, it doesn't stop blooming. It's the Catatonia, why not, okay? And I think it's some kind of hybrid with Bratonia and I don't even know what else, but um, is it Cat Catlea Bratonia? I don't know. I'm not sure about all those fancy um all the lingo all that stuff i try my best but sometimes it is what it is i look at the tag and i try but i'm new at this still i'm still new and so that's that that is that i wanted to show you that and similarly i have this one that i got because it said valentine and it was valentine's day another bag baby look at how beautiful the blooms are let me see if I stand this way with the Sun behind oh yes look how pretty look how pretty she's just opening up but I really love the lip it has spots on it she's so pretty and the red is that I have to go paint my nails this color right now because I love I love I love it it's like a deep red but you can see orange and then yellow in the middle she is pretty and it's funny because when I was at Home Depot, when I was at Home Depot, there was a woman there, and I'm gonna show you that one next. But I have a quick, quick, quick story. I was at Home Depot, and there was a woman there that I met because we were both eyeing the same bag babies. And she just happened to say, oh, bag babies don't ever bloom. And if they bloom, they have one flower. That's what she said. That's what she said, bag babies don't ever bloom. And if they do, it's one little tiny flower and not even worth it, even though they're a good price, not even worth it. So, um, I don't know what to say about that. I really don't know, except that's not my experience at all. And then this one that um, I bought two on purpose because I'm gonna put them together in this pot because they are the same, is the Chief Sunny. beautiful and if you get the chance if you see them you need to smell oh my god it's like pepper it's like pepper these are spicy i love them they're spicy i love the fading what do you call this the stripe or there's a word for it i can't is it splash i don't know if it's splash but look at Look at the color that goes from the yellow to the pink and then the deep, deep wine color in the lip. I mean, I think that flower is spectacular. Each of these has four, is this three or four? 
This one has three, this one has four. So I have to say, and then of course my, my um, why not? Not only that, I have another one that I didn't want to show you yet because she is just starting to open, but this one is another bag baby. Yes, it is. This is a bag baby as well. And if you recognize her, see, better grow. If you recognize her, she's a volcano trick. Yay! So she has four buds. Look at that. Look at those beautiful colors. Now I'm noticing a trend here. And, um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And I'm really more like of a pink, but right now these colors are spectacular. I know someone else who might like these colors. Look at that. Nelson, look at what I got here. Go get your bag, baby. <laughs> so look at that. That woman who was who I was having a conversation with, by the way, not only did she say that, she told me that she is an excellent or orchid grower and she has really healthy orchids at home. And she told me, are you guys ready for this? She told me that she keeps them in, ready? In dirt, in soil. I said, I don't, I, I can't imagine. Yeah, my mouth dropped open. I was, I was flabbergasted at the thought. And she said, try it. Get one that you don't care for that much, which is ironic that she said that, but anyway, get one that you don't care for as much, put it in soil and you'll see how she'll do just fine. I'm not gonna buy a bag of bark. So guys, I don't know. I really am hesitant to even try it, even just for fun. I don't even wanna try it, but can you believe that? I was just shocked. I said, okay, sure, that kind of thing, but, the other one that I wanted to show you, this other bag baby, has two spikes. So, by the way, she said she might look up my channel. So now I hope she doesn't realize what I'm talking about her. But I'm not gonna say her name. This is the other Why Not? With two spikes, doesn't stop blooming. Look at that. So these are some of my bag babies that, yeah, they don't quit, they don't stop. What else? Is there something else I wanted to show you? Well, this this is a bag baby too. I showed her in the in the uh, in the other video. So again, if you want to go for bag babies in the interim while you're waiting for shows, which is totally normal, okay? You can't just keep waiting for shows. Sometimes you can't order them all online. Go to your Home Depot or Lowe's. And by the way, my Lowe's. Oh, look at all those roots. I love that. Look at all those roots. Is this a, yep. Look at all the, I love it. It's like you think that you're getting a baby, but not all the time. Sometimes they bloom faster than you think they're gonna bloom. But um, anyway, where was I? See, I lost my, my train of thought. Um, oh, so in the interim, go and check. Oh, the lows, I was gonna tell you. The lows in my neighborhood, honestly, like, no, not good at all. Not good at all. They just, oh, oh, I'm sorry, but oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is from Kroll Smith. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. So this is what we have to look forward to. BLC Cornerstone Compass Cross with Patanera Pamela Delgado. Yes, I bought this in the last year's Fairchild's Orchid Festival. So if I keep interrupting myself, you won't have any idea what I'm talking about. So I'm telling you that the lows in my area never seems to have healthy bag babies or a good selection or anything. But the Home Depot is, is awesome for me in my area. So that's it guys. I just want, oh, this is beautiful. You guys need to see this. This is a rescue. Rescue, rescue, fell down, got knocked over. Look at this amazing bloom. I'm gonna do a short. She deserves it, oh my gosh. Beautiful, and these are my rescue fowls. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a rock or something. Sorry, I just noticed I screamed. 
really close to the phone. Some of you are probably <laughs> annoyed at that. So my apologies, guys. So anyways, I just wanted to show you some of my bag babies that are really doing nicely. I also have one that just finished, almost finished, that deserves a mention. This, guys, was one of my first Vandas. This is from RF Orchids. And just in case you want to know her name, I did show her in a short. But some of my viewers are saying, we don't really do the shorts, we do the longs. Some of them only do the longs and not the shorts and whatever, vice versa. So this I got from RF Orchids, RF, Robert Fuchs. Beautiful. It blooms maybe like three times a year. Look at that beautiful inflorescence. I love it. And it's more of a compact banda, look, compared to the others. Schmaller. Doesn't take up all the space. I think I paid maybe like $50 for her. Ooh, and this other one is opening up. You didn't get to see her. I'm gonna make another, uh, like a short. Look at these, these are big flowers. These, this is from Sunset Nursery, guys. Sunset Nursery. This got thrips once. I had to spray, but she looks so good now. She has recovered. And you know what? Now that I'm here, I want to show you a little Vanda trick. Now that I'm here, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be spontaneous. So my Vanda trick, if you're going to go out to buy Vandas, you, of course, want to know if it's a frequent bloomer. So you need to look for signs of how often they bloomed. So on this one, for example, you can see they bloomed. She bloomed here. She bloomed there. There. Skipped one. Maybe that was the thrips time. Bloom there. Bloom there. And here she is with double bloom again. So you can look through the leaves. Okay, normally they're not gonna cut it all the way down. You're gonna see a remnant of something and you could see if she's a frequent bloomer. If you see one and you don't see a bunch for a long time, then then you think, okay, maybe, see? And here's another spike right there. So one more that is blooming that I didn't know if you got to see. Sorry, I had to, I thought there was a bug there. She's so cute and I'm not really into the purples or the blues, I guess. I'm not really into the blues that much, but she's so cute. She's cute. This one was actually from Lowe's and I just finished saying that Lowe's doesn't have a lot. Lowe's doesn't have a lot, but when I went, Lowe's had this one and she was almost all dried up. I think I'm gonna cut some of these old roots because some of these new roots are taken over and the old roots are dried anyway. See like this one? If they're dried up guys, there's no reason. And you could tell when you wet them and there's not any color change they're probably dead look how dry they are and i have tried i've watered her every day but i bought her on sale from the lows it was on clearance for 15 bucks so yeah her name is vanda princess mikasa pink charm and that's exactly what she is not the biggest flowers i could say they're like medium size compared to it looks like the same flower shape as the pachara delight but the pachara is huge this one's like the baby sister but yes how pretty so yeah i got her on sale oh there's another one i just noticed well i see a big spike here but there's another one i need more room in my orchid pergola Ooh, pretty so this one is the um, Pekchon Blue, also from Bang Zhang. Just opening up, so it's not that it's, it hasn't opened yet, right? Look how pretty. But if you compare that one to that one, the pink is smaller and it's okay to have all different, color, all different colors, all different sizes and all different shapes. Oh my goodness, sorry, you're in the way. It's not your turn. So guys, the point of this video was just to show you that sometimes you can get lucky, you know, you can get lucky and go to 
big box places in the interim in the interim and i say that because i really i think that's important to support small businesses the mom and pop shops like the ones on chrome the people that you get to meet and you see the faces that's important that's important but in the meantime you can stop by a home depot or lowe's no one's gonna tell anyone you can stop by and see what they have because if you're questioning whether they bloom or not the answer is yes the proof is in the pudding i am showing you i'm not an expert i am a beginner i even do some things that i know some people cringe at home like repot immediately stick them with the rest of them immediately that kind of stuff i know i know i know i know some of you are gonna say oh geez here she goes but the point is they bloom i end up with a plant that seems healthy that blooms i have never found a plant from home depot or basically bag babies that are infested i haven't found one yet and you know i've gone crazy shopping 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 so i haven't found one yet with thrips or with any kind of like really bad damage i think there's only one out of all the ones i purchased there was only one and why i'm still here is to show you this bloom vandazina also from bang Zhang. smells fantastic very very strong fragrance so anyways guys that was just a little update oh did I show you this one? This has the best scent in the world. This scent, okay, from this, let me make sure not to drop her. Mayor Yamasaki. Oh my goodness. I wanna find some more. Maybe I find some more in Wellington because I love the shape of the leaves. And although it's a mini cat, the scent is out of this world spectacular out of this world very very fragrant but a soft sweet um sorry i thought i saw a bug and if i did i gotta i gotta fix it quick oh my gosh but anyways the scent is so spectacular that yep i do yes i do i'm going to remove them because they do not belong in there. Yeah, it's time to spray again, guys. Whenever you think, get out of there. Whenever you think all is good, when you least expect it, it takes a little white flower to show you, yep, they are back. They are back and you are walking. You are a thrip and you are back. Thrips, I hate you. Why are you here? Well, I know why you're here, but anyways, little interruption. Oof. So guys, if you are interested in a mini cat that doesn't take up too much room, cute colors, but fantastic fragrance, this is the one for you. So I'll leave you with that, guys. My next video will be Wellington. I hope you have a good day. Have a good Friday. Go get some bag babies and go to those shows. I hope I see some of you at Wellington this mm, Friday. No, not Friday. That's today. Saturday or Sunday. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like. I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you this weekend. Bye.